58 south winds at 8 miles per hour, and it's a dry night. No chance of any rain tonight in the area at all. If you have any outdoor plans for Labor Day, you don't have to worry about rain uh, whatsoever. If you'd like to see some rain, a lot of us would. I know my uh, my yard is nice and brown now. Uh, uh, there's no moisture coming our way for uh, for a while. So 75 in Marysville currently. Winds are from the south and southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Not a strong wind, just enough to keep the temperatures up. Live look from the Noto Arts Entertainment District. It's a calm Sunday night. Temperatures will slowly fall into the low 70s by uh, sunrise. Now we'll go to 72. South winds at 5 to 10. Uh, the winds will be relatively calm through the night. With well, those temperatures close to 70 as you wake up on uh, Labor Day morning. By the afternoon, it will be a, a hot sunny day with temperatures easily making the upper 90s. We do expect to see about 98 degrees tomorrow in Topeka. Light southeast winds 5 to about 10 miles per hour. There's no rain chance tomorrow at all. The heat index won't be a big issue because humidity remains fairly low. But if you're going to be outside, certainly wear sunscreen, take breaks in the shade and all that stuff. Uh, it will be a scorching hot day as it's been uh, all weekend. Looking at the temperatures tomorrow, showing 102 in Manhattan, 100 degrees in Clay Center, Abilene 100, 99 in Marysville. These are not record setting temperatures, but an average high for tomorrow is about 85 degrees. We'll beat that by a long way. And then we have a cold front that arrives in the middle of the week, cooling things down uh, a little. There's Monday across the entire state with temperatures chasing 100. We'll see south winds tomorrow by the afternoon starting to be a bit stronger, 15 to 25 miles per hour after 3 or 4 p.m. Tuesday still very windy with a cold front moving through late. This will change the wind direction and drop the temperatures significantly for Wednesday. There's not a lot in the way of rain along this cold front though. There's 9 p.m. on supercast showing some scattered showers and thunder showers along this, but not a widespread rain by any means. And then Wednesday, a stiff northwest wind gusting 15 to 35 miles per hour and temperatures significantly cooler down to about what would be average for this time of the year in the uh, mid 80s. So uh, Monday for Labor Day is going to be hot, sunny, a bit breezy late in the day. Tuesday is windy and 98 degrees. Those should be the hottest days we have for a while. An 88 Wednesday with not much of a rain chance. The best chance of rain is about a week from tomorrow as we continue this dry and very warm uh, air mass that's been in place for a while. Victoria. All right.